Hi, I'm Jim DiCola, Master Luthier for Gibson Guitars. Welcome to Gibson's Guide to Guitar Setup and Maintenance. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to properly install a strap pin on an acoustic guitar. Now, historically, acoustic guitars only had one strap pin, and that was at the butt end of the guitar. And guitar straps were generally supplied with a, a tie where you'd tie it to the headstock of the guitar. In modern times, a lot of guitar players prefer a conventional strap pin on the heel of the guitar. And with that, there's various uh, opinions and theories on where that should go. Some people like it on the very end of the heel in that position, uh, and that's, that's fine, but some people like it on the side. They both have their, their fans and their reasons. Now, on the heel here, it's kind of clean because you don't see it from the front of the guitar. However, because you're going into the end grain like that, you have a greater risk of the end grain of the wood splitting when you're driving the screw in like that and because of the tension of the strap on there. Uh, also, when you're wearing the guitar like that, it may have a tendency to be a little bit more tippy as the strap can rotate on that. So in more recent times, a lot of people have the theory they like the strap pin mounted on the inside of the heel like this you still have unobstructed access to the higher fret areas, but at the same time, having it here is, uh, has more structural integrity because of the direction you're drilling into the heel. And at the same time, it kind of holds the guitar uh, more snug to your body because it's pulling across there instead of allowing it to be tippy. So in this episode, we're gonna install into this side of the heel. The first thing I'll do is mark where I want that strap pin to go with some green low tack tape. It's commonly used for painting and things like that. It has an adhesive on it that will be uh, sound enough to grip where you want it to, but it won't be excessive and have a chance of pulling the lacquer off. So I'm gonna put that piece of tape over the area where I want that pin to be, which is approximately there. So then I will get my ruler and I will mark out one inch up from the bottom of the heel and make a line across in that direction. And depending on the model, if it's a deeper model, you might wanna go anywhere from an inch to an inch and a quarter, but uh, this is kind of a mid-size. It's not a very large body, so one inch uh, I felt was appropriate for that. And then next, because of the shape of the heel, I'm gonna go right on that crest, right at the top of that crest of the radius, and put another hash mark. So now I have an X where I want that strap pin to go. Now I'm gonna take a sharp awl and I'm gonna mark that right in the center of the X and just kind of put a dimple in there. And that will allow the drill bit to locate there without slipping and scratching the finish. So when it comes to the drill bit, you want to get the appropriate drill bit size for the screw that you're using. So in this case, what you wanna do is, you can either measure it, calipers are handy for that, so if you measure between the threads, uh, in this case, we're uh, right around a tenth of an inch, so I'm gonna use a uh, 332 drill, which is 093. It's just on the large side. I could go with a 109, uh, but that's a little too large. I'd rather err to the small side. If you go too small, then you could risk cracking the neck heel. So I'll put the drill bit in a drill, right? Now, I wanna hold that drill on the hole that I just marked with the awl at that angle. So it's going in pretty much at a 45 degree angle, as you can see there. And that will allow it to grab into that neck heel and then sit more perpendicular with the bottom of the strap pin on top of the uh, side of the heel there. You wanna make sure that that angle is correct and then you wanna make sure this angle is correct. You don't wanna angle it to either extreme, you want it to angle is perpendicular to that surface here in this direction and in that direction. So now I'll drill the hole. I'll start out slow to make sure it doesn't walk. And 
I'm gonna go about three quarters of an inch inside. Another trick you can do, you can take that same green low tack tape and you can put it over the strap pin assembly and figure out how deep that is on the drill bit. And then you can mark that with tape. So that's another surefire way of ensuring you get the proper depth without going too short or too shallow. Too shallow, again, the screw has risk of splitting that heel. You wanna make sure that pilot hole is deep enough. Uh, it's better to err a little too deep than a little too shallow. Now we have it drilled out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove that low tack tape very gently. And now I have a countersink with a little uh, handle on it. And I'm gonna gently use that over that hole to kind of put a little chamfer on that hole so it kind of clears the way for that screw to start driving in without risking uh, chipping the paint. So I just do that a few turns. If you don't have that, you can MacGyver it with the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. However, countersink, uh, countersink would be the preferred method. Now I have the strap pin and the screw assembled. I'm also gonna take the precaution of putting a felt washer. Felt washers are nice in this case because it's on a radius and so it acts as a bushing when you put that uh, strap pin on and it kind of protects the finish. So I'm gonna kind of hand start that screw and then I'll get my screwdriver and I'm holding the strap button itself and then very gently start screwing in the screw And you want it to be snug, but you don't need to excessively tighten it. And once you start feeling that it's snugging up, you just give it a quarter turn pass or so, and there you go. So now we have the strap pin securely mounted. You can still have unobstructed access to the higher frets, and it's gonna hold your guitar snugly to the body without being tippy. And once you get into installing the strap pin, another, another good uh, precaution, if you feel that it's still a little too snug, maybe your screw is a little bit larger and, and than what your pilot hole it should be, you can take some wax and rub the screw on this wax or on a bar of soap even, just to get some of that wax on the threads and then just go ahead and screw it in. And then if there's any residual wax that squeezes out, just wipe it off with your polishing cloth. And that wax will allow it to screw in and, and not bind and potentially crack the heel. And there you have it. Tune in for the next installment of Gibson's Guide to Guitar Setup and Maintenance.